my friend's brother had a, um, a surfboard hidden in the uh, Brighton Yacht Club under a boat um, that we could use from time to time. And so my first experience was just I couldn't get my mates to come with me but that day because it was too cold and the wind was strong. And so I went down on my own and dragged this um, uh, plywood surfboard out from under the boat where it was hidden because they were too heavy to take to the beach. And, um, and it wasn't mine, but on that day, the wind was so strong that there were waves inside the um, harbour at the Brighton, uh, Middle Brighton Yacht Club. So I actually had my first experience surfing um, in uh, the Middle Brighton Pier, uh, which was pretty crazy. Um, and the waves about one foot and rolled for about 100 yards. <laughs> I couldn't believe I could do it. Um, I originally went down the beach and expected to paddle around the boats because a lot of boats moored down there. I had no idea I was going to be surfing. And um, when I got down there, it was such an ugly day that um, the waves were breaking outside the bars and uh, outside the pier and rolling in between the pylons and they'd smooth out as they came through the pylons in through the boats and on, onto the beach, quite a long ride. And, uh, the board had no fin, it was uh, one of those uh, square kind of paddle boards with just a little bit of rocker in the nose, but not much. And um, I couldn't believe I could surf it. And I was stoked. You know? um, Simon Buttonshaw would be down there and Doug Walbrick and Pat Morgan particularly, I already knew Pat from uh, the Scouts, we were in the same Brighton Scout troop. Uh, he was a lot older, not, he was a bit older, but it was great because he just got his driver's licence when I was keen on getting away from the bay waves and, and trying out the ocean beaches. And so Pat was just 18 with uh, just, I think he had his car before he was 18, he was just waiting for his 18th birthday to get his license and then we took off down the coast and um, he took me surfing for the next four or five years. We surfed together with um, Claw used to come along quite a bit too. Point Leo had a couple of surfs there and we came down to Torquay and had a couple of surfs at Anglesey and Torquay and yep and then um, it was a while after that um, we went to Bells, and that was what really focused us on Torquay was um, Bells was such a fun area, it seemed to be like such a great playground for surfing that um, we sort of came to Torquay so that we could surf at Bells, right? And so we were down there like almost the next weekend after this track was built. And when we got down the beach, you know, I think Joe might have been there and there was like uh, Peter Troy probably and Marcus Shaw and, yep, and um, Brian Trist, a whole bunch of guys like Dennis Ryan and Kanga Loudon um, and they were all surfing bells and Flossie Naylor, <laughs> so um, Dirks Davies. So we, we just um, kind of blended in um, and what used to happen was they'd light a fire on the beach usually and people would come and go all day. People would have a surf and they'd go and another group would arrive and we'd go out for a surf and come in and there'd be another group and everyone would keep using the same fire and standing around it. And if you remained at the fire, you pretty much met everyone who surfed in the whole district um, by about two o'clock. 